The Eagles have some cap space left. They've already made a few moves. They made a lot of moves, actually. <laughs> A few moves. They made a lot of moves this offseason. Free agency, uh, drafting some very good players. And on top of everything else, you have some cap left. Now, Stefan Wisniewski that we cut to get three million back, you know, to get three million back into the cap. Um, he is still a free agent out there. Now, we all know that Brandon Brooks is going to be out for a few weeks, probably a few weeks uh, during the season until he comes back fully healthy. It might take him a game or two in rhythm to get back to his normal self. But I'm not really worried about it too much at that position. Um, but, Steph Wisniewski is still a free agent out there. I'm kind of surprised that the... I'm, so, I'm kind of surprised that teams haven't taken him. Um, I don't know why. Um, he's not hurt. Nothing's wrong with him. I just, I kind of don't understand how he's not taken yet. I mean, he was the Super Bowl right guard. You know, he started the whole year. And then, unfortunately, he was beat. I mean, the left guard. And unfortunately, he was beat by Isaac Samalo for a starting job. And the Eagles extended Isaac Samalo. And they decided to cut ties with Stefan Wisniewski. And uh, they got $3 million back into the cap. And now he's sitting there as a free agent. Now, the Eagles are going to pull a Timmy Jernigan on Stefan Wisniewski, bring him back for very cheap as a little bit of a prove-it deal, um, and, and see where that goes. But I don't know. I think it's going to matter if the Eagles are comfortable with the three the three guards that you know they brought in, uh, the undrafted class. There's three guards that they brought in, and on top of that, Matt Pryor's in the background, so you have a lot of, uh, you have a lot of depth, sorry, my phone's dying, um, you have a lot, you're, you're going to get a lot of depth in this offensive line this year, you're going to have guys that are probably going to, someone, someone new is going to definitely start at right guard the first game at the opener versus the Redskins, you're going to have a new guy in there, okay, but they need to put the right guy in there, whether it's Matt Pryor, whether it's uh, Ryan Bates from Penn State, whether it's uh, Losua Apita from Weber State, or it's uh, Nate Herbig from Stanford, one of these three, I'm not going to remember their names, uh, one of these guys you're, you're going to see starting at the right guard. So, Stephen Mazuski, would the Eagles bring him back? I think the Eagles should wait on it. The Eagles should develop these guys and see who's really going to, if someone really catches Jeff, Jeff Stoutland's eye and says, holy shit, this guy looks like he's going to be the real deal. Um you keep him on the roster, and you just you know, you keep that guy on the roster. Get rid of the other guards that don't need to be there when time when the team cuts happen, and then pretty much after that, Steph Wisniewski is just going to be a free agent until he gets picked up by somebody else. I just don't think they should go out and do that, um, and, and kind of just keep their pace and not go crazy spending too much money and bring him in. If you know he comes in cheap, he comes in cheap. But I think the Eagles should just you know kind of put a stop sign in front of that and just. Uh, Go with what they have and kind of develop. You have a whole offseason. You have preseason. You have mini camp. You have training camp. You have everything going on in a few months. Um, the season is right around the corner. We will get there as soon as possible. It's going to happen very soon, guys. I know the wait is terrible, but we will get there. So that's really it, guys. So, Steph Mastuski, do you think he'll be back? Do you think, do you think the Eagles should wait on it? You let me know in the comment section below. I will see you guys later. Shake's going up. Fly or slide.